Look at these pictures. Which peanut will you choose to buy and consume with your family? I guess you choose the clean peanut, right? Like you. Last year, a family in Tanzania made the same choice. Unfortunately, these peanuts are the same. I took the pictures before and after. I incubated them to make the mold visible. However, the family in Tanzania, they never knew that their crop had this mold. This mold also contaminates several other crops. But the problem is that the mold produces a poison called aflatoxin. My research focuses on how farmers manage crops with aflatoxin in our environment. Specifically, I seek to, uh, to understand if aflatoxin is contaminating our soils. Now, I want to share with you why this is important, how farmers deal with it, and my findings to date. Aflatoxin is a worldwide problem. The Food and Agriculture Organization has estimated that each year, 25% of the world's crop are affected. Consumption of food with aflatoxin can cause stunting in children, liver cancer, and death. Remember the family in Tanzania? All members were affected, and 14 people died in their community. Now, don't panic. Calm down. You can still eat your peanut butter, because countries establish regulations to limit aflatoxin levels in food. So crops contaminated, they are rejected in market, but farmers lose millions of dollars. To reduce the deficit, farmers often plow these crops under to at least recycle their nutrients back to the soil. But is plowing under crops with aflatoxin dangerous to our food or to the environment? What happens to the aflatoxin in the soil? And what happens to the mold that produces aflatoxin? My research tries to answer all these questions. My findings show that the mold that produces aflatoxin decreased and aflatoxin was degraded by at least 80% 50 days after plowing. These findings and my ongoing research where I am answer more questions such as is aflatoxin affecting other microorganisms in the soil? All these findings will generate knowledge to help farmers maintain a healthy soil that will produce healthy food for all of us. Thank you.